Hello, on today's episode of the Comics Panel, we're going to talk about our Keystone Issues. All right. Um, Keystone Cornerstone issues are issues that we have that we think are really great things and should be in your collection for multiple reasons, whether simply because it's a great book or because the actual financial value is worth something. Correct. All right. Uh, Grogan, you want to lead off? Um, yes. Captain America 360. Nice. Anybody knows who's in that? First I appearance do. of... Crossbones. Crossbones. He's going to be in Civil War. Great villain. It's a great, great villain. Character. He's he's really interesting, and he fights Captain America a lot to a good standstill. He can also easily cross over, as we were talking before about Daredevil. He can go back and forth. Yeah. So he's going to be good for the movie, and if you don't have it in your collection, it'd be good to get it in there. Not just because it's low and could go up, but it's a great read of a great character. Yeah, great in- introduction, too. Yes, How about you? I'm going to say uh, from the 1974 series of Doctor Strange, issue number 60, he takes on the vampires and uh, Captain Marvel, the female Captain Marvel with the black and white. Light Ray. one. She was Light Ray. She guest stars in it along with Scarlet Witch and basically takes on the vampires. It runs for a couple issues after that. I love Damn, that's a good issue. They they actually eliminate all vampires from the Marvel Universe for a few years. They stick to that. And good artwork, uh, it all good happens story. in Doc Strange. Heck yeah. Never knew that. That's a great issue to get. A great series, 12 or whatever issues. They're all reasonable. I stumbled across one at a comic book store the other week, and it's like, oh, I should buy this. It's like, oh, you know, but they didn't have the whole set. But I'm going to ah. get the whole storyline. So. Oh, it's great. It's cool. I can't wait to read that. That's, that's a good one. That's a great one to get. I think it's like five or six parts in the graphic novel. So. And it came out in what year, like 1983? 1983. Yeah. That's a good time. You get some good issues. All right. Sure. I'd have to say Kingdom Come. Kingdom Come. Yeah, I know it's not exactly a specific issue that it is a little mini series, but um, it's fantastic. Uh, you know, everything Mark Wade, Alex Ross, don't get much better than them two guys. Uh, it's an Elseworld story about superheroes and in the future and how things have changed and, and how the uh, old timers have to step back up and, and set things straight. Uh, just really great storyline. Um, you can really see the differences in the future characters, and some have really changed, some have not so much. Some are dead, some are new. Um, and just since, really cool stuff. Since it's under the banner of Elseworlds, nothing has to stay yeah, true. Yeah, it doesn't have to stay they, true, they, which is always cool as far as I'm concerned. They can you know, do you anything. Can just have a great story and... He only it has, doesn't have to be more. Superman only has one leg in this issue, <laughs> yeah. but he's okay with that. He's okay with that, and there's nothing you can do because it's Elseworlds. I, I never have a big problem with Elseworlds, but that is a great read. It is Absolutely. a good thing to should have. should be in your collection. Definitely should be in your collection, just for the read alone and the great Alex Ross who drew it. So, do you think we covered it? I think that's yeah, about these it. Are good Those issues are issues that, that we think should be in your collection. Get them in your collection. If you're tired of the same old story, please turn some comic book pages and leave any comments in the box below. And like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.